we're back at the Byron Bay Writers' Festival and our next guest is talented young writer William Kostakis, who's just written his first novel, Loathing Lola. Well, William, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. And congratulations on the book. Now, the first chapter is set at the funeral of a teenage boy, but it's actually quite a humorous chapter. Is this based on reality? I obviously took some cues from some personal experience that I had when my friend passed away back in Year 10. But I, I, there was this sort of sense of competitiveness amongst us, you know, who's there to prove who was the better friend. But I did intensify those feelings and, you know, increase to find the comedy of the scene. And, but I did rely on my own emotional, you know, a history just to give the scene that much emotional backing. You're talking about uh, uh, something called a wah-ing, where there's a, com a competition yeah. to see who is the most upset. <laughs> see, you know, forget the grieving mother, the grieving family. It's all about the second best friend who lives a block behind him. You know, it's, it's something that I felt really encapsulated what the book was about. It's about kids looking for fame, looking to be the centre of attention. And I think you don't get any more desperate than a few kids fighting over a corpse. Yeah. Well, the, the book is is the said the central character is cast in a reality TV show called Real Teens. Is your generation obsessed with fame and reality TV? Who isn't obsessed with fame and reality TV? Really, honestly, I think my mum is older than me, and she'd jump on a reality TV show. Anyone would. It's quick money. It's quick fame. But you know, I don't think it's all that rewarding. So it's. The story is part cautionary tale, and it, but it's also, you know, it's just humorous. It's, it's about a girl in, a, in an extraordinary situation. So you are saying that reality TV is not the answer. Is there a message in the book? Uh, yes. Less reality TV, more scripted programming on television. Which gives yourself a job for the next 20 years. <laughs> That's the plan. Do you think that teens suffer from stereotyping? Uh, I think everyone suffers from stereotyping. And, you know, it's incredibly dangerous in the media as well. So that's just something I wanted to tap into when I was writing. So you're part of that dreaded Gen Y generation. Do you think you've been represented fairly? Uh, honestly, in the media, no. It's always, you know, a moral panic. What's Gen Y going to do next? But, you know, we want everything right here, right now. But I know for a fact that I've worked pretty hard to get where I am at the moment. But, you know, kids who are just after that, hey, I want to be on television. Hey, I just want to run behind the cameras at sporting events so people see me. I don't think it's particularly rewarding. And... You know, I just think that uh, everything takes its time. You just got to work hard and do everything the right way and don't just go on a reality TV show as a quick fix. Do you see yourself, especially now that you've written the book, as being a voice for your generation? Um, unintentionally, yes, but um, I can only speak for myself and I can't speak for everyone else. So I think it's only wise for me to speak about myself and say, you know, I'm proud of myself, I've achieved what I have, and I hope to achieve a lot more. Now, Loathing Lola, the, the narrator, is a female. That was a bit of a risk. Uh, yes, it was. I actually wrote the original draft in the third person, but it just didn't work because I was competing with her voice. So I would say something sarcastic as a 17-year-old male and then 18-year-old male, and it would just completely drown her out. So I decided, OK, I'm going to try something hard. And I just wrote it from her perspective, and it just came out a lot more natural. How did you get inside the head of a female? Um, I was moody and, <laughs> no, it was, okay, cut. <laughs> it was, um, I don't know, it just came naturally. Well, that doesn't sound particularly good either, <laughs> but, um, I just did what the story wanted me to do. I was more emotive and it just came naturally through the story. So your first novel at 19, you've already run a major award and more to come probably. Where to from here? What's the next chapter for you? Uh, hopefully another book. That's my plan while I'm balancing that with uni. So, yeah. And you see yourself having a career as a writer? Uh, if I'm successful, yes. So that's, uh, yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs>